Hey everybody, welcome to the Cross-Eyed Texan. As you can tell from the thumbnail, we're going to do a fragrance review, and it's one that I should have done a long time ago, but I just never got around to it. And I'm just sitting around here trying to keep from freezing, drinking coffee this evening, so I figured I'd do it. So, let's take a look around the box, shall we? It's a Miyake Nuit de Say. Love to say, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. I ain't French. I'm I'm Texan. And there's some stuff on the back right there. And there's the sticker with the batch code and barcode and all that fun stuff. And there's the box going across the room. It's a typical Issa Miyake bottle. I think these are some of the coolest bottles. In the fragrance world, I just think they're neat. They're just awesome. And I like this stuff so much. I'm going to put a little bit more on. The atomizer works pretty darn good. You know, and that's really key to a fragrance. I don't care if you spend $200 on a fragrance and the atomizer's crap. It's not putting out the fragrance, so everything's going to be affected uh, Projection, longevity, all that stuff is going to be affected. But let's finish looking around the bottle here. Not much on the top. The atomizer, just kind of plasticky. But it works really good, as you just saw. And on the bottom, for those of you with good eyesight, <laughs> there's your batch code and all that stuff. All right, so let's park it over here so I can knock it off the shelf later. So let's read the note breakdown. And I printed this off from Top Notes because I don't find Fragrantica very reliable. Okay. So, da, 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 da. this is an EDT formulation. Um, mm -hmm. Powerful Top Notes of Bergamot and Black Pepper. And you can really pick that up. Uh, black Pepper are... Combined with warm middle notes of, of vetiver and leather. And finishing with a base note of musky dark wood. Now, some people will hear vetiver and they think they don't like it. But this is a, it's a dry vetiver. But it's, when it's combined with the bergamot and the black pepper, it almost smells a little sweet. Um, it's a wonderful fragrance. It stays pretty linear all the way through the dry down. It projects for a good hour, hour and a half. And uh, then after that, you get about an arm's length away, which is enough in the wintertime. Don't be the guy that gags people out. Nobody likes that guy. Um, I'm getting about six hours out of this which for a $30 fragrance is fine with me, more than fine with me. It works very good. And on these cold days that we've been having here in Dallas, Fort Worth lately, it's, it's wonderful. I've gotten some compliments off this one. Now, here's the rub. This one is easy to find. There is a parfum version of this that's like 60 or $70. I would like to have that one as well. As you, I don't know if you can see, but I've actually made a dent in this. Um, I would like to have the Parfum as well. But there are two. There's Argent and there's Pulse of the Night that I don't know what happened, but they're really hard to find. And when you find them, crazy people are asking $200, $300, and even $400 for it. Okay? Um, I'm not spending that much money on Tom Ford, let alone Isamiyaki. It's not a slight against Isamiyaki. I just think it's ridiculous. So if you're looking for those other two and you can't find them, don't overlook this one. You might be pretty happy with it, especially for $30 to $40, man. It's really hard to beat. It smells wonderful. It's one of the one of the fragrances I love to wear out or just when I'm sitting around the house drinking coffee and doing some reading, which is what I'm going to be doing later. But I think it's a phenomenal value for $30 or $40. 
And like I said, it's gotten me compliments. The longevity is six, maybe seven hours, especially if you combine it with a good moisturizer and you spray it on like I just did uh, as I just got out of the shower, as you can tell, because my hair is still wet. And I haven't combed it because I don't care. I ain't going anywhere. Um, I've seen it on Amazon for about 38 bucks. Gift Express has it for about the same price. Um, I've seen it on uh, um, Fragrance Net and Joma Shop actually carries it. But if you're a Prime member, you can get it on, on Amazon and not have to pay, you know, anything for shipping. That's where I got that one was on Amazon. Okay, but that is my short review of this wonderful Issey Miyake fragrance. And we're going to talk about a couple of upcoming things. Later on this evening, probably about 9.30 or 10 o'clock, I'm going to be using this soap that my buddy from church gave me, Pat gave me this and he said that I could try it out and I wanted to give it a try and this has similar notes to Isamiyaki. This has got patchouli and it's got leather in it. This is a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. As you can tell, it hasn't even been used. This is a wonderful fragrance for uh, shaving soap from Razor Emporium and I've got the 1955 and the 1966 and those are both excellent. He even gave me to try the aftershave splash. This one's different though. It doesn't seem to have the alum in it that the other two have. Um, the other two will actually kind of separate, but I'm looking forward to trying that. So that's coming up later on a second video this evening because I like to get my shaving done before I get up and uh, so I don't have to do it when I get up and go to church in the morning because I like to reserve that time for, you know, quiet time and drinking coffee and getting ready to go to church. One more thing I just got in the mail today is this because I haven't done a review on a body wash in a very long time. And my entire channel is about male grooming. It's not just about fragrances. So I got three of these from Amazon for $14 and I just took a shower and used this particular product and I got out of the shower. My skin was smooth and I did the old scratch test and I didn't leave a trail that stayed for a minute or two before it disappeared. My skin is in really moist and uh, you know what really makes fragrances work their best aside from there being some that are just absolute garbage but to give a fragrance its best shot at performing where, well, your skin needs to be clean, it needs to be exfoliated, and it needs to be hydrated. My skin just happens to be dry. Every else, every place else on my body is dry except my face. My face is oily. But we're gonna I'm gonna try this for a week and then I'm gonna present a full review on this and let you know not only if it helps me feel cleaner, if it keeps my skin moist. But if it affects some of my fragrances that don't seem to last very long or project very well, and I'm looking at you, Dunhill Icon Elite, this stuff smells great, but it doesn't project very well or last very long. It just seems to disappear. So stay tuned for those videos, picking up new subscribers left and right. If you guys like content about fragrances, if you like content about shaving and shaving soaps, if you like content about body washes, in general, trying to improve yourself from the inside out, this is the channel for you. If this video was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up and give me a subscribe and we'll explore this whole angle of being a man from an angle of being affordable. You don't have to spend a whole lot to really enjoy this hobby. Most of the things I have back here didn't cost a fortune. And there's also going to be one review coming up on this right here. I finally bought the real thing. And this just, oh, it just skunks all the other ones to snot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. A couple hours, there's going to be a shaving video. So if y'all want to watch me cut my mole off my face. You know, who tune in, it could be a bloodbath. <laughs> you guys be blessed. 
take care of each other. And if you don't see a nice person around, be one for somebody else. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching.